Excelsior Pass Plus now. And for those of you who don't know what an Excelsior Pass is, I got another video on here uh, referencing Revelation 13. You should watch it and read Revelation 13. See, right now what we're witnessing, and a lot of people called me a conspiracy theorist when I was talking about this stuff years ago and telling people what your grandmother said, we living in the last days. Well, guess what, buddy? Um, we actually about to be, and it's gonna move fast and dramatically. And you're gonna see stuff change in your society right in front of your face overnight. Look what COVID did to us. Socially and mentally, we are a completely different society when we, than we were just a year, year and a half ago. Just like that, our whole world changed. And that's how dramatic and drastic and fast that this new world plan can come together. The new world order is in full swing. If you don't know what it is, look it up. Read, book, read the book of Revelations and get yourself in the know. Now, now probably the majority of people who watch my videos call themselves Christians. Why in the world don't you know what's in your Bible? Why don't you understand the book of Revelation? Yeah, I know a lot of y'all were scared to read it because it seems spooky. Well, guess what? The spookiness that you read about is what we're living through now. Are you still afraid? You should be if you don't know what's happening. Yeah, we in that spooky time now where the beast is emerging and the dragon is in full swing. And we talk about the 666, the mark of the beast. We don't know what it is. I believe that the 666 is has, actually has numerous parts to it. Numerous parts. So... I've, I've had conversations with people, you know, a couple years ago about the oncoming, the oncoming pandemic, which became Corona-19 or COVID-19. Um, I was aware and a lot of other people were. It's not a secret. A lot of people just weren't paying attention because we too distracted by music videos and stuff. But, um, you know, that's just how it is. It's always been that way. But we're in the, the, the grand smack in the middle of the new world order coming together. And the New World Order is a one world plan, a one world government where you will not be able to transact business or be considered a citizen if you do not take the mark of the beast and follow the processes that are set by the powers that be. Now, we are already there. The Excelsior Pass gives you access to things if you have a COVID vaccine. Other people will not have access to it. They've already been doing that. As you see my last video about Revelation 13, um, I talked about the restaurants had started doing it a couple months ago, where if you if you can prove you got a vaccine, you sit, you can come in a restaurant, no mask, sit in a certain section. If you don't have one, they segregate you in another section. So that means everybody gets to see you and point fingers at, oh, look at the anti-vaxxers over there. The shaming had already begun a few months ago for people who don't want to get vaccinated. Yeah, shaming. So you're anti-vaxxer shaming. So what's going to happen, according to the book of Revelation, you're going to be pushed out of society if you don't get with the program. We there. We there. I try to tell y'all, man, that this was a social experiment. It's a social experiment to see how people will react to being controlled on a grand scale. Well, here you have it. It's not going to stop. You got the Delta variant and everything else that's coming behind it. Buckle in. It's just beginning. This is where we're going. The new world order will take shape. There will be a one world dictator. There will be an antichrist. It is what it is. It's already pre-written in these other signs. Man, if y'all ain't woke, you better wake up, man. Read that book. You go to church all the time. Read that book and understand the times we in and get with it. And understand what your Lord says you are to partake in and what you are not. Don't let nobody, no government or nothing else force you to do some stuff that's against the will of God. Peace.